Okay, this is Mentakap Star Mall Genset room. Today I'm going to test run the Genset using offload conditions. Okay, this is the Genset. Okay, first of all, before we test run the Genset, let us check the parameters first. Okay, as usual, let's check any leakages of engine oil, fuel, and radiator water. Okay, everything in good condition. There's no traces of uh, radiator water leaking. Belting is in good condition. Radiator fan belt, okay. Okay, this is an indicator for air filter. It didn't trigger, that means the air filter is haven't choked yet. Alright, this is the battery. Okay. The electrolyte level is okay, in good condition. Cable a bit corrosive, advised to replace with new. Okay. This, this is the two solar mic. And now let us check the engine oil level. This is the dipstick. I can see there's coolant available not much traces of uh, stain floating up but surrounding the radiator there's rusted well it's as uh, it's normal this is a 20 year old building all right as long as, as, long as confirmed there's There's radiator water level available and the level is in good condition. Okay, make sure tighten cap properly. This is the signal. Make sure the cable didn't lose. Alright. Let's go down back. Careful with the step. From where you come up, that's where you go down. Okay, we are going to trigger the genset to run automatically using the APS control panel. Okay, before that. Auto Okay Battery okay This is the change over ATS Alright They label already But this round we do something different I'm going to trigger The UER relay to call the genset to run okay this round i'm not going to use the wire to jump all right so this is the main supply this is the genset supply how to confirm that because currently the genset is not running you can just see from here this one no supply confirm is genset this one got supply confirm is main supply 
take out this one first and then trigger this one by just pulling out one of the fuse Okay, the genset has just stopped automatically. Now we're going to test this genset as well. Okay, this is the other genset. So currently, this genset is having problem with this controller, which this controller not able to communicate with the genset AMF panel here. This is due to some wiring issues or some problem with the genset controller unit because as I put it to test mode here over here it does give a signal to start the genset but over here the genset not able to start okay so if that means during TNB power interruption this one will not run automatically except you have to manually on it so now let us manually on this thing alright 